So we're going to start talking about the actual LED calculator that we're going to be building now, that we know the fundamentals about the half adder and the full adder. So we're going to be making a calculator that can add two two-digit numbers together, right? So because it's two two digits, our output is going to be three digits due to that carry <coughs> from that final digit coming out. And so basically, right, if we have two, two digits, so two places, our maximum number can be three. And so three plus three is going to be six, so our maximum values are going to be six, and our minimums, of course, are going to be zero. Um, and because we have two digits, basically, so remember, our ones place is going to have that half adder that we just talked about. And then our twos place is going to have that full adder to take the carry that came from the half adder. So these are going to get inputs A and B, as well as this. And for our purposes, right, we're going to interpret the digits all separate. So, so this is going to be our first number, A1, A0. Those are going to be our digits. So the ones place and the twos place. And then we're going to have B1, B0, and those are going to be this ones place and the twos place of the second number. And this is just so, because for the adders, right, we're only going to have the place, the numbers corresponding to their places go into the c c correct adder. So our half adder is only going to take our ones place, the carry is going to go into the full adder, and then that's going to add these two, and whatever if there's any excess that came from these two, say if we added 1 plus 1. Everyone good on how that kind of works? So this is going to be the carry. This is going to be a s sum of the zeros. It's a little complicated, there's a lot of gates that you're going to be using. And so when you're building that on a physical level, it's going to be a little messy, right? Because instead of drawing things, you're going to have wires everywhere, you're going to have parts everywhere, it's not going to be the same. So we're going to start by making that circuit on your SimSir application before we start actually making the physical version of the calculator. So if you guys could pull up the SimSir application right now. Okay, so we're going to get started. So if you guys have your SimSir application open. So what I have on here already is basically what that blue circuit board you guys have has. So it has these four switches, two on top, two on bottom, to represent the two two-digit numbers, and then our output and LEDs. Right. So as I said, this calculator is going to consist of one half adder, which then leads to one full adder, and those results are going to be your results. So if you look at page 144 in your book, that's going to have your diagram for your half adder. Right. And so for the half adder, that's going to be for our ones place, so for our A0 and our, sorry, typo, for our B0. So that's going to be our ones place, A0, B0. Yeah, so you can double click on the it and it'll say enter device name. You can just enter what you'd rather have it called. I'll just redo these. Right, we use zero for our ones place instead of one. That's just the notation we use. For these. Is there any other action besides entering the top of name? Because what I it's the top of name rename the document. Uh, you need to press enter, and it should load the name on. 
Yeah, and so our zeros are basically our ones place, and the a1, b1 are our twos place. So this plus this. Yeah, and then our outputs are going to be LEDs. So S0 is the sum from our half adder, which is our ones place. S1 is the sum from our full adder, which will be our twos place. And C out is the carry from that full adder, which will be our fours place. And then this is how it is on the board as well. So on the board, our inputs are laid out in that way as switches. And then our outputs are going to be LEDs. And then just remember to connect your DC power source to all of those toggle switches. And so once you do have those on, right? So our first place, so the ones place, is going to be our half adder because, right, there's no carry we need to worry about. It's already the first place. So if you look at page 144, that's going to have the gate schematics for your half adder. Right, so for S, S is going to be our S0, which will be the ones place of our sum. So that's just going to be A, X, or B. So if you guys can drag X or B. And right now, we're just worrying about the, all the zero places. So A0, B0, S0. And then for your carry, you're going to have an AND gate. That's going to be the AND of A0 and B0. Right? But instead of having a CO, right, that's going to be your carry for the next part of your full adder. So then this is going to end up being an input to the next part of our circuit. So if we remember, our full adder uses free inputs. So the carry from the last part of the number, as well as the inputs of the A and the B. Right. Does anyone else have any questions about this? Uh, that phrase, carry, uh, can you clarify that other than that? Yeah, so kind of like when you add numbers, like if you're adding 14 plus 9, right? Four, 9 plus. 4 is 13, right? But we can't put 13 down here. So we have that carry of a power of 10. So that carries out here. So basically, we do the same thing, but in powers of 2. So anytime you have more than like that place, place's it'll value, go it'll go to the next place. You can't add 1 and 1 and get 2 yeah. because you're not allowed to have a 2 in binary. Yeah, but a 2, it can be represented as 1, 0. So that carries over sure. to the next place. So if we have, say, so this is like the largest that's going to be on your calculator. If we do. 1, 1 plus 1, 1, so that's 3 plus 3, right? So it's 2, 1, 2, and 1, 1, so 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 plus 3, right? Our first place is 1 plus 1, mm -hmm. but of course we can't put a 2 here, so that's going to be a 0 carried by a 1, yeah. right? In our very last place, we have 1 plus 1 plus 1, right? So that's going to be a 3. And so you can take another 2 out. That carries out, but right, it's kind of like when you still add 9 plus 4, you still have something left in that one place. One. So we still have that 1 here, yeah. 1, right? And so then that our answer is 1, 1, 0, gotcha. right? Because then this is a 1 place, so no 1s. 1, 2, 1, 4, you know, 4 we're plus 2. Two digit binary numbers, we might get a three digit answer. Yes. Yeah, so basically the idea is that you could have something carry out from this last digit, and so that's why we need that extra that's place. Why you need three LEDs in the right hand corner. Yeah. And she's, she's going to work out how you turn those on to zero or off to one. Right? Does this make more sense to everyone? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so right now, so far on here, we just have the half adder, so just from our calculations from that first ones place. So now we're going to move on to the full adder, which is the visualization is on page 146. So now we're just adding that twos place, so A1, B1. 
and then any carry that came out from that one's place, which is that AND gate we already have on there. Right. So we have more XOR gates. So first, let's solve for our S, which is going to be our S1. So, right. so now we're done with A0, B0. We've already added that place. So this place is done. Now we're, we're only concerned with the two's digit place which is going to be A1, B1, and this AND gates output, which is the C in. So those are our free inputs. Okay. So if we look at that top of the full adder, we have an XOR gate. And those inputs are A and B. So that's going to be A1 and B1. So A1, XOR, B1. So once you have that one XOR gate, if you look at your diagram, we see that that XOR gate then leads to another XOR gate. So we're going to drag another gate on. Right. So, so, right, so if we look at the full ladder on page 146, we see that the XOR of A and B leads to another XOR gate in which the second input is C in. So that's going to be that carry we just got from that half adder, which is going to be this AND gate right here. That's our C in. So that's going to go to this XOR gate. Okay. And that is directly going to be our second value for our sum. So the twos digit. All right, if we add, we, so we haven't gotten to the last digits, right? We do one plus one, we can get two. One. And so once you have that <coughs> S1 solved, the only thing left we have is that C out, which is going to be our fours place digit, so the third place. Right. So if we look on our page 136, that diagram, we're going to have two AND gates, which lead to one or 146. Okay. We're going to have two AND gates, which lead to one OR gate. Right. That OR gate leads to C out. And then you can put the inputs to those AND gates. So our first AND gate is going to just be A and A1 and B1. It's a little messy <laughs> just because of the way. So A1 and B1. Right. Yes. And then our second AND is going to AND our C in. So that one AND we had from A0, B0, that's going to be the input to the second AND gate. And then the other input is going to be A, X, or B, which you already used for the S1. So it's going to be this XOR gate. It's a little, I will move all of these over. It's a little. This is the correct answer. Like, so if you wire this correctly, this should be what your LED should be doing. So if none of them are on, you should have, if none of the toggle switches are turned on, these lights should all be off. Right. If A0 is on, then you should have S0 on. If A0 and B0 are on, then you should have S1 light up. Um, if you do A1, A0, both on, then you get those S1, S0 both on. Um, if you do A1, B1 both on, you'll get C out on and then the other two dim. Um, if you then also light up A0, so 
A1, A0, B1 all on, you'll get C out and S0 on. Right. Then you light them all up, you should get S out and S1 in. So just confirm that that's what you get.